We all lead busy lives. And it's very easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day functions of keeping up. And we miss out on what's really important in life. A great story that really shows this is the story of the professor, the coffee, and the coffee cup. This is one of my favorite stories when it comes to focusing on what's really important in life. As the story goes, there was a college professor who invited several of his former students over to his house just to catch up. So picture a nice lazy Sunday afternoon and all the students had gotten to his house and they were all catching up. They were sharing stories about their wonderful careers. They were all doing quite well. They were very successful. Some were the heads of companies and they had a lot to be thankful for. Well, as they were talking, they started going uh, somewhat negative, talking about the stressors, the anxiety, this problem and that problem, and how difficult it is just to stay ahead of the game. Well, the professor at this point goes, you know, I'm gonna go get us some coffee. So he goes into the kitchen and he comes back out with a coffee pot and sets it on a table. He goes back to the kitchen and returns with a tray full of coffee cups, setting them on the table next to the uh, coffee pot. Now on this tray are all types of coffee cups, from extravagant, expensive, to very ordinary, cheap, and common. The professor watched as they very carefully chose their coffee cups. After everyone had their cup of coffee, um, he pointed out to him, he goes, look at the tray and notice that the only cups that are left are the very cheap and common ones. You were all very careful to make sure you got the best cups that you could for yourselves. Now, first let me make it very clear to you that that cup is in no way going to enhance the flavor of that coffee whatsoever. But those cups represent the very things you were just discussing. It's nice to have nice things in life, but that's usually not what's going to make you happy. The happiest people don't have the best things, but they make the best of the things they have. The cups represent your position in society, your job, your career, your fancy house, your nice BMW or car of your choice. But again, these are not the things that are going to make you happy. The coffee represents life, the people that are important to you, those moments that you're going to hold dear and cherish because they were magical because of the people that you spent them with. Don't focus on those things that are not important. Don't focus on the cup. Focus on the coffee. Be grateful and thankful for what you have. Appreciate your friends and your loved ones, those people that you hold dear in your life. Love life and enjoy your coffee.